Hello, I'm Tim Bullington, Director of Student Services here at Heber Springs School District, and I'm going to read the second chapter of Magic Treehouse, number one, Dinosaurs Before Dark. Chapter two, The Monster. Jack crawled into the treehouse. Wow, he said. The treehouse was filled with books. Books were everywhere. Very old books with dusty covers and new books with shiny, bright covers. Look, said Annie. You can see far away. She was peering out the treehouse window. Jack looked out the window with her. Below were the tops of the other trees. In the distance, he could see the Frog Creek Library and the elementary school and the park. Annie pointed in other directions. There's our house, she said. Annie was right. Jack could see their white wooden house with his green porch. In the yard next door was their neighbor's black dog, Henry. He looked very tiny. Hi, Henry, shouted Annie. Shh, we're not supposed to be up here, said Jack. Jack glanced around the treehouse again. He noticed that bookmarks were sticking out of many of the books. I wonder who owns all these books, he said. I like this one, said Andy. She picked up a book with a castle on the cover. Here's a book about Pennsylvania, said Jack. He turned the page with the bookmark. Hey, here's a picture of Frog Creek, said Jack. It's a picture of these woods. Oh, here's a book for you, said Andy. She held up a book about dinosaurs. A blue silk bookmark was sticking out of it. Let me see, said Jack. He set his backpack down on the floor and grabbed the book from Annie. Okay, you look at that one and I'll look at this one about castles, said Annie. No, we'd better not, said Jack. We don't know who these books belong to. But even as he had said this, Jack was opening the dinosaur book to place where the bookmark was. He couldn't help himself. Jack turned to a picture of an ancient flying reptile. He recognized it as a pterodon. He touched the huge bat-like wings in the picture. Wow, whispered Jack. I wish we could go to the time of tetradons. Jack studied the picture of the odd-looking creature soaring through the sky. Ah, screamed Annie. What, said Jack. A monster, Annie cried. She pointed out the treehouse window. Stop pretending, Annie, said Jack. No, really, said Annie. Jack looked out the window. A giant creature was gliding above the treetops. It had a long, weird crest on the back of his head, a skinny skinny beak and huge bath-like wings. It was a real tetradon. The creature swooped through the sky. It looked like a gliding plane. It was coming straight toward the treehouse. Get down, cried Annie. Jack and Annie crouched on the floor. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster than everything was still, absolutely still.